What is going on guys? It's Ami Huckleberry and I am on hijack today with the MSMC Silence with Grip. I am playing with a speed class. So I have on lightweight with hardline, then toughness and dexterity and extreme conditioning. So this is my speed class with no attachments. Uh, sorry, with, with no uh, with no equipment. Um, the attachments, suppressor and grip, I find work very well together. And I did some testing with this on the PDW and the MSMC and the Scorpion. And I found that uh, grip attachment is actually more useful than, than uh, people have been letting on. Um, I was uh, using the laser sight a lot, which actually was very useful for getting headshots because you could hit fire these SMGs at people's head and get a lot of headshots. Um, now that I have the diamond camos, I'm not really going for headshots as much anymore. Um, and I find that the SMGs have a pretty good hip fire spread as it is um, at, at close range. So I'm not using the laser sight anymore. Um, I'm always I'm always still going to use the suppressor to stay off the radar. But instead, I run foregrip, and the, and one of the re one of the reasons for that is because you cannot run long barrel uh, with the suppressor, and the suppressor reduces range, and therefore the number of bullets it takes to kill at range increases. So what the foregrip lets me do it lets me stay on target when I'm aiming down sights, and I think that pairs really well with the suppressor. So I recommend that you try this out. Put a put a grip and a suppressor on your SMG, and I think you will just go ham with it. I also recommend that you run primary gunfighter and then put the extended clip on as your third attachment. And I think you'll see some some really good gameplays from that. So, uh, with this video, without talking too much about the gameplay, uh, I want to give you guys an introduction to who I am, uh, why do I have a YouTube channel, and what are my goals for the channel going forward. So, first of all, I'd like to just thank you guys for all your comments and feedback. It's been really awesome to see that you guys are watching the videos and that you like them. Or, you know, if there's things that I can do better, I really appreciated the constructive criticism as well for things that I can do to improve the channel. So, thanks guys for, for liking my videos and subscribing. Um, so, first of all, um, I'm 29. I live in the Chicago suburbs. And I've been playing Call of Duty for about five years. Um, I got in with Modern Warfare 2. And when I got in, like most noobs, uh, I was not very good uh, at Call of Duty, and I, I didn't even crack a 1KD, I think, with MW2. I was like a .9 something. Um, I got progressively better as I kind of learned the spawns and the guns and the best setups, and I had a lot more fun playing Black Ops 1, uh, and ended up uh, with like a 1.9 in that, in that game. Um, it's just been kind of steadily climbing from there. I've continued to enjoy playing, and I continue to try to identify the best uh, the best setups that, that work well together, and also learning the, the maps. Um, I think I have quite a bit of first-hand knowledge with spawns um, and manipulating spawns. I don't know if that's considered to be kind of you know uh, not not a you know to say manipulating spawns doesn't sound great. But to be honest with you, there are ways that you can make, work this game to your advantage, and it has a lot to do with spawns. Um, so I think I contribute can, can contribute a lot in that area. Um, I also want to do challenges for you guys, and uh, and do things with different classes. Kind of has a couple of reasons. Uh, one of them is to keep the game interesting, because we all know this game's been out for a little while now, and uh, we we'll, we all fall into our comfort zone with certain weapons. I know I do with the MSMC <laughs> as an example. Uh, and I I want to I have gameplays with other guns. I want to experiment with other guns, and I want to try to get the high score streaks and do crazy things uh, for you guys with that with those setups. So if you have any ideas for me for classes you want to see, you know they'll be they might be strange or ridiculous. Post those, post those in the comments. It'd be awesome to hear what you guys think and what you would like to see on this channel. So, I also want to go through anything I can explain with how attachments work, you know, where do you put equipment, where to throw it, you know, things like grenade spots and blast radiuses, uh, you know, opening routes, those types of things, you know, strategies on domination, strategies on, on demolition, things like that. So, the, the last thing I wanted to give you guys is just kind of an explanation of my name on the channel. Uh, it says I'm your Huckleberry, and that line actually comes from the movie Tombstone. Uh, it does not come from Huckleberry Finn, although I do like Huckleberry Finn. Read the book uh, in school, uh, but a lot of guys think it's from there, but it is not. Um, so it's from the movie Tombstone, and in that movie, uh, Val Kilmer is Doc Holliday, and he's with uh, with Wyatt Earp, who's Kurt Russell. Um, and Doc Holliday is 
very ill. He has tuberculosis, and he's not going to live much longer. Now, Wyatt Earp kind of needs him for this shootout at the OK Corral. Um, and, and Doc Holliday's really sick, and the doctor says you can't get out of bed, but Doc Holliday is not going to listen. And uh, he continues to just live his life. He continues to drink and uh, play cards and, and do whatever whatever's needed by his friends. So he uh, he ends up meeting up with Johnny Ringo near the end of the movie, and uh, he's going to take him out. And he threatens him, and he says, uh, the line is, I'm your Huckleberry. That's just my game. And it really stirs Johnny Ringo. He's not really sure you know, he, the, what's going to happen next because this guy, Doc Holliday, he's not afraid to die. Um, he's ready to die. But he's also the fastest the fastest gun um, that they've ever seen. So Doc Holliday has a lot of confidence, but he's also just like, you know, dude, whatever. Like, I... I don't care. You're you're not you're not going to beat me, and if you do, it doesn't matter. Um, so I think in that moment, you're just like you know Johnny Ringo is scared shitless at that point, uh, and of course he he wields Doc Holliday wields a second ahead of him, um, and like fire, I think he just fires at the hip and like pops into the forehead. I mean it's just insane. Um, so then anyway, that's where I get Ami Huckleberry from. I really love that movie. Another line in that movie I really like is he's drunk, he's playing the piano in the bar, and there's a big uh, fight out in the streets, and he comes out in the streets, and this bad guy says to him, uh, he says, uh, you're just a drunk piano player. You can't hit nothing. You'll probably see a double. And then Doc Holliday says, I have two guns, one for each of you. And then he's got his two revolvers and he's twirling them around. So yeah, so that's the, the other line I really like from that movie. And that's where I get my channel name. So, hope you guys like the video. It is uh, coming to a close here in a second. And let me know in the comments what you guys thought about the commentary. I'm working really hard to put out good commentary and good content. And all, as always, if you could like and subscribe. And let me know any channel ideas you have for future videos. Alright, thanks guys. And I'll talk to you later. Have a good day.